Let's check out Sacramento's starting lineup. Barnes and Bagley in it forward together. Then there's Tristan Thompson. Then there's De'Aaron Fox. And it's the Prophet in at the two-guard spot. And for Oklahoma City, Lugans Dort out there with Gabriel. Confident attacking in the paint. To the paint. Here's the Prophet. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the right to the wing. Down low. Out to Fox. Here's the Prophet. The basket's good off the assist from Fox. From there, you know, Grant, in terms of improvement after his rookie year, you saw it across the Aaron Fox's entire stat line. Yeah, once he got comfortable in the league, he started going off. He increased his shooting. And it's Sacramento's ball. Eight-point game. Here's the Prophet. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. The first free throw is good. At the line for the Kings, number nine, two shots. It's Kenridge Williams, and it's Favors in at the five. That's the group for Oklahoma City getting going in the second. And he's coming off a huge percent. Just incredible. Not an easy situation for Teo Maladon to come into the NBA. You're learning a new language in the midsection, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. Here's the profit. He drops it from range. For 38% so far in the second. Here's the profit. 22 points for him. Pikes it, 9 for 14, and showing no let-up. Yeah, they're really... And 101 left to play in the first half of basketball. Nice. He's positioned perfectly to go after the rebound. To the paint. Here's the Prophet. Goes up and lays it in, nice and easy. Aaron Fox, and it's the Prophet in at the shooting guard position. Oh, got that one up quick. He has 20... To that frame, what a nice-looking finish. Woo! Excellent way. One throwing it down like that. That's got to That's the profit. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Well, all night. Here's the profit. Third. Oh! oh no! <laughs> Entry into the highlight reel. Woo! What a dunk, PA. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They built up a opportunity to handle the ball, and what a pretty delivery there. Inside. Oh, and that one, no question. Here's the profit. 43 points in the game. That one goes. Count it. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the past. That's just a tough miss. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three opportunity. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Sacramento. I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In the first half, we saw them doing it. Contributors among these scrappy young players. Well, it's all about opportunity, Allie. Thanks. And trust me, we quarter. Their play has earned them a nice lead. One they'll look to build on as the game continues. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And let's listen to head coach Luke Walton review the game plan with his guys. Hey, that's beautiful basketball out there. That's fun, right? Even with the lead, we keep passing, we keep moving, we make the extra pass. That's fun. It's fun to watch. I know that much. And it looks like Here's the profit. Uses the glass on the layup. This is when... Pass to the profit. And yes, another basket. 60 points. This guy can't. Favors using that long frame to send that back twice on the pipes, Kevin. The profit. That's good. Here's the floater. And it's in there. They're good. One minute left to play in the fourth. And knocks down the three. Jam. Yeah, sometimes the question can over. Drops the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And
And so he drops them both. And it's a five-point game and tonight. And they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. You know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. And that'll do it, folks. Especially on Twitter. By some who say you care more about scoring than winning games. Now, how do you respond to those criticisms? Look, anyone who says that doesn't know me, that's ignorance on their part. And I don't have time to deal with ignorant people. I only care about people who got my back. You understand me? People who since been, been there since the beginning. If coach is on me, if, if my family is on me, then I worry about it. But otherwise, I could just care less. But, but, but do you think this perception of you influences the way you... You're covered in the press. I mean, you're asking me about it, aren't you? So yeah, it obviously does, but I focus on the people in this locker room. That's all I care about, Frank.